I have a question for you. How would you parent your children if you knew there was absolutely no way you could protect them from being exposed to the most graphic images of violence, murder, execution, hate, or extreme unhealthy sexual acts? Images of all that stuff and all of it coming through the internet. If you knew there was absolutely no way that you could keep them from being exposed to that, how would you parent them? You'd really have two choices. I mean, one, you, you could try to lock them in their room till they're 21, cut off all power. And if you succeeded in that, they would grow up to be very unprepared for the real world. Or you could sit down with them. You could say, I love you, I care about you, and you need to know what's out there. You need to know what's going on in the internet. And I don't know where it's going to happen. I don't know who's going to bring it to you. I don't know how it's going to come about. But you're going to have to make a choice because you are going to get exposed to this stuff. And you don't need that in your head. You've got to keep it out. You've got to make a choice to recognize what it is and to be able to stay away from it. And then you would talk with them and you would train with them and you would go through different scenarios. You would prepare them for how to stay away from it. That's what you would do. And here's the truth. You absolutely cannot protect your children from being exposed to that stuff. It is going to happen. You know, the days of being able to control your home, keep all the bad stuff out, and talk to the other parents and make sure they're doing the same thing, and that being good enough, those days are over. I could tell you story after story after story. I mean, there's not a week that goes by that I don't hear stories about kids being exposed to horrific stuff on the internet right under their parents' noses. I had a seven-year-old boy. I had to sit down and tell their parents that he had been watching hardcore pornography. I'm not joking with you. And they were devastated. I mean, these were good parents. They had their home on lockdown, no bad stuff getting in. They talked to other parents. They made sure they knew where their kid was. But what had been happening, all summer long, there was a ninth grader, and he had a phone. And all the boys in the neighborhood looked up to him. And every day they were going to the end of the street, sitting down on the curb, and he was showing them porn. He was showing them all kinds of stuff on his phone. His parents had no clue. That kind of stuff is happening more and more and more, and parents don't realize it. I think his parents were still living in this fantasy that we can keep our kids from being exposed to that stuff. And those days are over. I mean, think about it. All the phones, all the devices, all the places, the access to the internet, anywhere you go, you just are not going to be able to keep your kids from being exposed to that. Your option in this modern age is to prepare your children, is to let them know exactly what is out there and to stay away from it and how to stay away from it. That's what you need to do. I just wanted to add a few more points about how you talk to your kids so they're prepared for what they'll be exposed to with the internet. So if you have really little kids, and what I mean by that is basically as soon as they can navigate through a device on their own, you know, where they can have one-on-one -on -one time, alone time with that device, at that point, I would recommend you set up a rule that you tell them you are not allowed to view anything to be on anyone else's device, you know, and name it, phone, tablet, whatever they're going to call it. Um, you cannot be on any device unless there's another adult present. And I would, I would name those adults, you know, if there's aunts, uncles, if it's friends, parents, let them know if this person is there, it's okay. But other than that, if anyone ever tries to show you something, you're not allowed. Uh, kids at that age, they, they follow rules and that's the best way to do it. As they get a little bit older, so we're talking getting into elementary years, uh, you need to give them a little bit more of a reason. You need to tell them, hey, there's some bad stuff on the internet. There's some bad videos or some bad things that you can see and you have to stay away from that. So that's why you're not allowed on anyone else's device. Now, of course, your kids are going to ask. They're going to say, well, what kind of bad stuff? So, you know, you don't give them every detail, but you tell them there, there's, there's some people on, on the internet who uh, they don't have their clothes on and they're doing things they shouldn't do and we don't watch that kind of stuff. And there's people who are doing really mean things and very hateful things and um, they're, they're just being bad and that's why we don't watch it. You don't need that in your head. It's going to scare you. It's going to upset you. That's why we don't do it. So you give them a little bit more reason and they're going to connect with that. Now, as they get older, so more into to later elementary years, you need to give them a little bit more specifics. And you know, that's the time you need to be talking to them about, about sex and give them the sex talk and be more real about what's out there in the world, but doing it in a way where they're in control and they don't need to be afraid of it, but they need to know what's out there. 
So I would explain a little bit more about, hey, you know, this is pornography, and this is why it's bad that uh, it, it's not how uh, it's not how relationships go. It's really bad stuff to look at. You don't need that in your mind. Uh, there's people who are doing really really mean thing, like hurting people and killing people, and there's videos about that, and you don't need to watch that. You don't need that in your head. Um, so you let them know because sometimes, you know, they're getting older, those later elementary years, and sometimes the line is is kind of blurry of you know, what's acceptable and what's not. So you want them to be able to recognize it. They're watching a video and all of a sudden they're like, wait a second, this is what mom and dad talked about. I, I can't watch this. And then they walk away. And then, you know, give them some strategies. You know, tell them that they can blame it on their, uh, say, blame it on us, blame it on mom and dad, or just say that you got to go or you're hungry, or you got to go to the bathroom. You know, give them some options options of how to back out of that where they don't draw attention to themselves. Now with teenagers and uh, even pre-teens, but definitely getting into teen years, uh, it's all about character. It's all about who they are. And it's about them making the right choice. And I would just, you know, flat out tell them like, hey, this is how we're raising you. These are the values. This is the character we want you to have. And it doesn't help you out to watch that stuff, to have that in your head and to expose yourself. And, you know, if they want more specifics, and I'll tell you from my perspective, I see teenagers who chronically watch these kind of stuff, you know, all this hate and violence or sex and that kind of stuff, uh, especially the, the violence and, and the extreme, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, I see a lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiety disorder. I mean, they just fill their minds with this and they kind of get this view of the world as a as a unsafe place and uh, it just junks up their mind and so it's about character you know tell them like hey that's not who you are don't expose yourself to that you don't need that in your head make the right choice you know know who you are and and believe in it all right so there's some ideas for you there's a lot of other uh, ways of of talking with your kids, you know your kids, you know the best way to get to them. The most important thing is that you do it, that you try, that you talk to them, and it's hard. I know these conversations can be really awkward, but you know, preparing your kids for life, preparing your kids for the real world and the challenges that they're gonna come up against, that's one of the, your top jobs as a parent, and it's tough, but it's so loving when you take the time to have the hard conversations because you care about your kids. You guys got this, good luck with it. Hey, keep uh, keep tuning in. I will talk to you guys soon.